Chapter 21 When Jehoshaphat died, he was buried with his ancestors in the city of David. Then his son Jehoram became the next king. Jehoram's brothers, the other sons of Jehoshaphat, were Azariah, Jehiel, Zechariah, Azarahu, Michael, and Shephatiah. Their father had given each of them valuable gifts of silver, gold, and costly items, and also the ownership of some of Judah's fortified cities. However, Jehoram became king because he was the oldest. But when Jehoram had become solidly established as king, he killed all his brothers and some of the other leaders of Israel. Jehoram was 32 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem eight years. But Jehoram followed the example of the kings of Israel and was as wicked as King Ahab, for he had married one of Ahab's daughters. So Jehoram did what was evil in the Lord's sight. But the Lord was not willing to destroy David's dynasty, for he had made a covenant with David and promised that his descendants would continue to rule forever. During Jehoram's reign, the Edomites revolted against Judah and crowned their own king. So Jehoram went to attack Edom with his full army and all his chariots. The Edomites surrounded him and his charioteers, but he escaped at night under cover of darkness. Edom has been independent from Judah to this day. The town of Libna revolted about that same time because Jehoram had abandoned the Lord, the God of his ancestors. He had built pagan shrines in the hill country of Judah and had led the people of Jerusalem and Judah to give themselves to pagan gods. Then Elijah the prophet wrote Jehoram this letter. This is what the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, says. You have not followed the good example of your father Jehoshaphat, or your grandfather, King Asa of Judah. Instead, you have been as evil as the kings of Israel. You have led the people of Jerusalem and Judah to worship idols, just as King Ahab did in Israel. And you have even killed your own brothers, men who are better than you. So now the Lord is about to strike you, your people, your children, your wives, and all that is yours with a heavy blow. You yourself will be stricken with a severe intestinal disease until it causes your bowels to come out. Then the Lord stirred up the Philistines and the Arabs who lived near the Ethiopians to attack Jehoram. They marched against Judah, broke down its defenses, and carried away everything of value in the royal palace, including his sons and his wives. Only his youngest son Ahaziah was spared. It was after this that the Lord struck Jehoram with a severe intestinal disease. In the course of time, at the end of two years, the disease caused his bowels to come out and he died in agony. His people did not build a great fire to honor him at his funeral as they had done for his ancestors. Jehoram was 32 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem eight years. No one was sorry when he died. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the royal cemetery.